Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. I'm very excited because we're gonna take a closer look at the Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors for the 1500 GMC and Chevrolet pickups. Let's go. Now you might be like me and you're just curious what this upgrade would entail. So hopefully this video gives you some insight and maybe even answers some questions along the way. For the short time that I've had a YouTube channel, I've been asked specifically about doing this upgrade. Now I know the quality that I'm gonna get with Boost Auto because we did install a set similar to this on my Ford F-150 and I couldn't be happier with the results. Now even though these will fit my GMC Sierra AT4 for reasons that will become clear throughout the video, I've decided to install these on this 2020 Chevrolet Trail Boss behind me. Before you go and spec out your mirrors, you need to know exactly what you have to work with. So these ones here are not power fold, they're manual fold. They do not have the spot lamp in the front. They don't have the blind spot monitoring, which would have a little icon here, and they do not have the cameras. Let's go to their website and see how these are spec'd out before we open up the box. Look at all the customization options. There is just many ways that you can configure these and it's gonna be based on the options that you have now. Once you build a set though, they will ship them out only after a few days and they give you free shipping in the lower 48 states. We picked the black cap covers to match the theme of the truck. I picked the smoke front lenses with sequential turn signals and running lights. I also added rear facing high output spotlights. I also added rear facing lighting to work as cargo lights and extra lighting will in reverse. I also added the feature of defrost to the upper and the lower glass, as well as power folding. We also added a forward facing spot lamp. With that, you do have to add some extra wiring to enable some of these options. But as you can see, you can add so many things that your truck was not originally equipped with. All right, let's get to unboxing. Uh, that's not blood, that's my wife's uh, craft. She's not respecting my workspace. Well packed, it's good to see. We got our two pieces of glass, both with defrost. We got our rear spot lamp. We have our smoked sequential signal lights. And I have to tell you the build quality is OEM. We have our wireless control module here. So we're able to access some features wirelessly without adding switches in the vehicle. And then we have all our goodies for wiring everything up and connecting it. We also have some Boost Auto stickers and koozies. Now you probably connected the dots on why I'm choosing not to install these on my GMC AT4, and that's because of the camera mirrors. I'm not able to transfer the cameras over to these at this time. It would be a huge calibration issue because they wouldn't line up in the exact same spot based on the different size of these mirrors. They are working on it. Hopefully they have a solution in the near-ish future. But for now, we're gonna install these on this Trail Boss, which is going to add many upgrades that this truck didn't have to begin with. So thanks Steve for lending me your truck. Let's get started with the install. I'm just about to disconnect the battery, which I recommend that you do. I will also film highlights of the install, but I'm not gonna film them at the detail that Boost Auto Parts already provides to you on their website. The video that they have for doing this installation is second to none. I'll leave a link in the video description below so you can check it out. But just with their production value, you'll wanna watch that video if you're gonna install a set of these. You're not going to find that type of production quality in my install. Next, you have to take off the door panel so we can get to the mirror. Now that the door panel's off, the next step is to take off the old mirrors and put on the new ones. Now that the mirror is mounted securely, we need to get to the wiring harness modified a little bit to enable those extra features that these new mirrors will have. We need to take off the speaker to get to this harness. 
all the way to where it connects to the cab. We'll pull it all through, add that extra wiring. Now you don't have to pull your harness out as far as I did, but I chose to undo this clip because it gives me a little bit more working room so I can get to these wires easier. Quick tip for you, if you're having trouble putting the pin lock back down, it means the wires that you've added aren't set in all the way. Before we go too far, I have an additional step. Because these factory mirrors did not have spotlight or power fold, we need to add it. And to add it, we need to put in this wireless module. There's two of these. There's a driver's side, this is the passenger side. The difference is one plug and two plugs. And there's a little bit of wording here that says right hand, left hand. So we need to connect these wires out of the mirror all the way down into this harness. And then we're going to mount this box right about, right about there on the inside of the door panel. And then we're going to put it back together. I'll leave a link below to another tutorial just for this step that they have on their website that far exceeds anything I'm going to be able to produce. Now we're gonna mount this to the insulation in the door panel. There's a natural cavity right here. So if you mount it with this hole roughly in line with this mounting point, it'll be able to push into the door here and it'll be out of the way. So we're just gonna create a hole with a screwdriver here. Push this through, get this one started. And then on this side, we need two holes. So we'll do one to get it started and then we'll do one to pass it back up through. You could mount it anywhere you want, but this is where they roughly suggest to mount it in their instructions on Boost Auto Parts website. Okay, we're back on the driver's side because we have one final step. We need to install a jumper to the BCM just inside here, tucked up under the dash. So I'm gonna pull the gray plug and the black plug. Okay. 
We just got one more jumper to install here. This one's a little different. It has a diode on one end to allow current to only go one direction. This is going to enable the cargo lights on the back here to light up when we put the truck in reverse. Okay, that's done, let's reconnect the battery. All right, battery's connected, moment of truth. Let's make sure everything works as intended. So starting with unlock, we should see the rear spot lamps turn on. We should see the signal markers on the side turn on. Remember they're sequential, so they should have a bit of an animation to them. Then I'll get into the truck and we'll try the cargo light, which would make these come on again as well as be able to turn them off. And then we will try the spotlights, which are hidden right in here. Might be a little difficult for you to see, but there's little LEDs in behind the smoke lens. And then we'll try the power fold. And also notice this, in the glass, there are spots for your left and right turn signal indicators. Okay, let's hit unlock. Here we go. These blink and they're animated. So I could let you see that again. So they're sequential, they light up from here. They do a little LED dance. That looks really cool. These rear spot lamps are very bright. We're gonna wait for them to time out and then we're gonna try the cargo light in the dash to make sure they still turn on. Okay, I'm gonna push the button right now. So that works and to turn them off. All right, now pay attention. We have extra features that we don't have buttons for. So there is a way that we can access that wireless module to gain control. So normally, we would pick our left or our right mirror and we'd be able to make adjustments to the lenses, which it's doing. But in this case, if we pick the left mirror and we hit left, left, right, right, you'll hear a beep, the module's awake and it'll turn itself off after 10 seconds of no activity. And since it's awake, if I push down, that's gonna fold both of the mirrors. Because they receive the signal at a little different time than each other, they will close at a little different rate. It's just minuscule, but that's normal operation. I push up, they'll fold out. And if I push to the right, and you might want to get in front of the truck here. If I push to the right, you'll get the spot lamps. Now I'm going to let it time out, wait the 10 seconds, and you should hear it beep to confirm it turned off. There we go. Next, we're going to test the in-glass signal marker as well as the signal lights on the outside. Remember they're sequential, so they should animate a little bit. I will push the hazard button. There we go, pretty cool. So for this test, we are going to start the truck, put it in reverse, and when the reverse lights come on, so should these rear cargo lights. So far so good, everything's working. Let's get this outside and get the full experience. There we go, took it for a drive, did a bit of a shakedown. Good news is there's no excessive vibration from the mirrors, so that's a good thing. But wow, what a tremendous amount of extra view. I mean, I can see everything behind me and to the sides, which is exactly what you want in a tow mirror. So a good job, Boost Auto. It gets pretty intuitive too to switch over. You just hit the left button, left, left, right, right, hold the mirrors. I mean, I have it memorized. I don't have to really think about it. Pull them back out. Really simple, hit the spotlight if I want, turn the spotlight off. Simple use, simple design, works great.
So in closing, I just want to highlight some of my final thoughts before we wrap up this video. So my impressions are the build quality of these are superb. They're definitely OEM quality, if not better. The fact that they give you all of these extra features that are super easy to control is just outstanding. Remember, they do have super detailed videos for each install for whatever feature you choose to outfit your mirrors with. So make sure you check those out in advance before choosing if this is an install you want to do. I also want to highlight that these are available on the new refreshed models of the Sierra and the Silverado. The one behind me is a 2020, my AT4 is a 2021, but that newer refreshed style, they have mirrors for them too. I'd like to thank Boost Auto Parts for making such a good product. Thank you for not rushing it, taking your time and bringing something that's quality to the market. Remember the intent of this video was to give you a first-hand account into what these mirrors were like to use and install. Hopefully we achieved that. So if you like today's video, hit that like button, it helps the channel grow. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.